Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to everyone Today we are from group 9 We'll present to you guys about our group assignment for physics subject entitled Ohm's Law Firstly, I will introduce to you guys our group member Firstly, my name is Wa Ahmad Shahir bin Wa Ahmad Salahuddin Next, Nurul Najwa binti Muhammad Saiful Rizwan Muhammad Hanif bin Jamil Muhammad Qairun Amar bin Muhammad Zuki Muhammad Najmi bin Zamrus Muhammad Iqmal Mustaqim bin Badrun Now, I will pass this presentation to the next person Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nurul Najwa binti Muhammad Saiful Rizwan Now, I will to present the introduction for Ohm's Law Ohm's Law is a formula used to relate the relationship between voltage, electric current and resistance in an electric electrical circuit It was named after the German physicist George Ohm in 1827 in his paper entitled The Galvanic Circuit Investigated Mathematically Ohm's law states that the amount of electric current present in a metal conductor is directly proportional to the voltage applied to it for a given temperature. Ohm's findings are expressed in very simple equation. In metallic converse at a consistent temperature and zero attractive field, the potential distinction of the finish of the transmitter is corresponding to the present streaming and resistance of the conduit. That is V equal to IR. V is the potential different. I is the current course, coursing through. And R is the resistant measure in unit ohms. Material that uncovered the direct relationship exemplified in Ohm's law is finished up to be omit. At the point when a material is no more extend directly corresponding to current, it is then called non ohmic material. Next is resistance. There are a few elements that influence resistance. To start with, the kind of material. Second, the length. Third, the, cross, the cross-sectional territory. Fourth, the temperature. In an arrangement circuit, at least two resistors are organized in one line. In an arrangement circuit, the present going to every resistor is the same and the potential contrast. V over every resistor is specific, specifically relative to the estimation of R. In a parallel circuit, resistors are masterminded in at least two lines. In a parallel circuit, the potential distinction V over every resistor is the same. The current I going to every resistor I covers conversely relative to the estimation of R. So, application of Ohm's law in engineering or machine. First, to find out the resistance of circuit. If the voltage of the circuit is known and the current flowing with a specific voltage through the circuit is also measured, the resistance can easily be known using the Ohm's law. In addition, if there are two quantities in a known formula, the third can be easily formulated. Circuits are usually designed to maintain current and voltage specification in view. Every electric device such as electric toaster, oven and even speaker have a resistor. To find out the amount of current flowing obstacles are also very important. Also, if you have a problem with turning on the car in the morning, it might be because by corrosion of your battery. Correction of correction increase resistance in large numbers. So the second, to take the speed control from conventional fans. A conventional fan is also inserted into the oven which gives warm air to heat whatever has been put into the oven. Substance to be heated are surrounded by hot air. Control a conventional fan can be taken via a button. The knob on the back has a potentiometer attached to it. The potentiometer functions as a variable resi resistor and potential divider. This is when the Ohm law comes into use.
for each variable obstacle the value of voltage or current can be calculated okay for the next application of ohm's law in engineering or machine one is ohm's law to choose a fuse the fuse is basically used to calculate sequential component in series screen provide protection against from excess flow the current in a particular particular fuse can be calculated through ohm's law when the resistance is known the use of fuse is spread very wide especially when making electricity and connection are being prepared in newly built home the next one is to determine the size of resistor in various components as mentioned above the resistor are used in a number of components from electric kettle to televisions all involve the use of resistor however the resistor must be sized carefully and when we say that the size of the resistor we mean the voltage this can be done through the help of simple ohms uh, that the form of the law of the ohm is changed namely uh, P equal to P equal to IV the last one is circulation of the amount of power supplied to electric heater using ohm's law calculator in the modified version P equal to V square over R uh, is help in calculating the amount of power supplied to the heater and specifically the heating coil in the heater beside that you might think what is the use of knowing strength well you can double the time you use an electric heater with power and know the as uh, approximate electricity bill next i'm going to talk about advantages of ohm's law first we are able to analyze relationship between current and voltage second able to give the resistance applied in circuit there is only one limitation that is it can change its value if the circuit is left on for a long time third to control the amount of current in a circuit, adding resistor to reduce the current flow and taking them away to increase the amount of the current. Fourth, allow you to analyze circuit diagrams, especially when you combine it if Fisher's law which follow on from it. Last, it can also be extended to describe electrical power, the rate of energy flow per circuit. Okay, for the conclusion. Based on the research on Ohm's law, we can conclude that Ohm's law deals with the relationship between voltage and current in an ideal conductor. This relationship states that the potential difference which is voltage across an ideal conductor is proportional to the current through it. The constant of proportionality is called the resistance R. This can be expressed in an equation as V equal to IR and can be manipulated to find the two other variables which is I and R. Ohm's law is widely used in electronic and in creating circuit as well as in battery development and other electrochemical application. The scope of Ohm's law is not limited to circuitry as it can also be used for other things such as to create molecule and polymer for example each atom contains protons and electrons which can be harnessed to create chemical bonds with other atoms
by applying a voltage to a material and oxidation reduction reaction occur where one electron is removed from one molecule and attached to another that's all from us i hope you guys will understand this presentation about this topic thank you for spending your time and lending your ears that's all from us thank you